Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today my good buddy Ditaku and I are returning to the studio to revisit the fully released My Friendly Neighborhood. Yep, we've uh, had this one be ever since uh, we did the demo. We've both had this kind of in our uh, back burner, so like we really want to actually do this when it came out. And when it came out, I basically immediately got it for the professor here. So and, here we are. Yep, I was like, oh, this would be great for the Halloween block. And now the month's two thirds over. Uh, it's time to do it. And I, when I first booted up the game and I messed with some of the configuration, I m might have missed a cutscene. If if I did, uh, this part of the video is going to suddenly stop and a video will play without any commentary over it, and that will be your way of knowing that I'm dumb and I missed it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to hit new game and we're going to get started. Outside. I, I don't remember making a save. I literally, this is the first time I booted the game, so we'll just use a new save slot, I guess. I mean, unless it counts, did it say anything about the demo? Maybe that's your demo? No, because I would have had more to... Saw no, I think this is the actual piece. This is the scene I think I accidentally missed before. Maybe that's why... It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost. I, I can already... I you know, I can see you... Tunnel. Just snack, just perking up because you're like, oh my goodness, it's an FMV. I love FMVs. <laughs> I mean, I do. Felt like I was dying. That was a big bar guard. He swerved out of his car, no, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. Are we gonna weather, turn we'll be 90 degrees to, to our right, and then there's gonna be one of the monsters? I mean, the that's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, uh, this game would do that to us. I just had this insane sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just... I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. Uh, okay. I didn't realize we were seeing Metal Gear Solid <laughs> What did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. Television dulls the pain. No, no, honey. Television is the pain. <laughs> <laughs> that is. I just saw the dials on the side. I'm like, this is an old TV. Yeah, this is. Honestly, that type of television was one that was like around when I was very young. My my family, when I was about five, I vividly remember this, we got uh, went from one of those TVs to one of the big box ones. Yeah. That, the really fancy clicker. Oh, let's see. Ah, uh, right. I think we got this prompt in the, uh, in the demo as well. Your difficulty best for players who are just here for the experience. Normal for normal players, this will be tough. We're gonna do normal, which is where I do the okay. demo. That, that was seemed about right. Day. What's this one about? Work or we do normal? Yeah, I picked normal. And I think on the demo we did normal as well. It's Rocket okay. Palm Property Management Work Order Request Client City Network Broadcasting Group. Uh, property one two three Sunrise Street. Cute. Date, July 8th, 1993. <laughs> Crewman assigned Gordon J. O'Brien. Description of problem. Well, we have a full name now. Before, we were just Gordon. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal programming. The client has requested the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Supervisor signature J. Note, Crewman O'Brien is on probation for selling an impolite behavior toward clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete his work will result in termination. Oh, well, that would... Ex okay, this is, you know, as opposed to in System Shock proper, where you, if failure to complete the thing would got you to be killed. So, you know, I guess there's some stakes to this. Okay, so I'm in my work van, looks like. Got that in the war. Last time I stick my neck out for someone. Oh, so we are a grizzled veteran. Oh, I'm not eating that. That's been there for days. 
Gross, dude. Clean up after yourself. Okay. I'm not leaving yet. I just got here. Fair enough. I'm just clicking at stuff because I can. That works just okay. fine. Cool. Candy bar. All right. Breakfast of champions up in here. All right. That said, I think we're good to go. Disabled antenna. <clears throat> Oh, we have the health meter right there. The last job of the day is always the worst. I have a... Size I guess we are stolen. Yep. Oh, we parked it just inside the gate. I was like, what is that? Okay, this place used to be huge. This is even bigger than I imagined, based on the demo. Some bottles and trash cans. Well, we already were inside the studio. Yeah, we started in the studio. Aviary? Why would public broadcasting have an aviary? Why would public broadcasting have its superstructure inside the sewer system? That, those are all fair questions. Well, we have to go to the hotel, so... This could be a statue of, uh... Oh, we know that. We know them. Yeah, she sure is familiar. That's got to be fresh. If it's rained at all recently, this would be gone. Mm -hmm. So, someone is up to mischief. Oh, yeah, we know many of these faces. Oh, uh, dear. Are you saying that the felts can go outside? That's possible. Or at the very least, onto the outskirts of There's the an elevator. Maybe it still works. All right. Gordon seems entirely unfazed. Bring me. Yeah, you know, I guess you know being sullen makes you jaded as well. Okay. Bring me. I I, I okay. I'm definitely feeling Gordon. I I I, I can relate. Oh. Oh. Wasn't have expecting I that. Holding on on those bells. You have told me, but why don't you tell our adoring audience? Okay. Raise the ah. curtain. Bring up the lights! The neighborhood Hi, is Arlo. coming to town! Uh, hello. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood! The neighborhood! I'm thinking it's okay. really good. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We- hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you ain't here and I'll- and I'll, <clears throat> and I'll uh- <clears throat> I'll get you, I'll get you some... Okay. <laughs> that wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. That um, just happened. Okay, then. <laughs> that would be my response, too. Yes. Hmm. That genuinely well, got the drop on me. Yeah. Well, anyways, as I said, when I was younger, of a, a wee, babby, little... Pugum. I was there with my father Pugum, and we, I don't even remember where, what I was doing, but they had one of those bells, and Father Pugum, he turns to me and says, don't you dare ring that. If you ring that, then a needle's gonna shoot out into your hand. And so, understandably, little Babi Pitaku didn't ring the bell. But now, every single time I see one of those classic bells, I just think to myself, you know, Today is going to be the day. If I ring this, <laughs> that's going to be the needle. Shoots through my that hand. And knowing my luck, so it would happen. Cool. Out of all the bells in the universe, it would happen. It'd be the one that I rang at that moment. And so that's just one of my weird phobias that I've just carried with, carried with me. And I'll carry it with me to my grave. And the worst part is I tell told, you know, Father Pugum about this. And he just kind of looked at me and was like, I don't remember that at all. So. Yeah. Okay, let's I'll stuff that in my pockets. So, you know, it's just, uh, yeah. That's deepest Ditaku lore for anyone who cares. What? Oh, 
Is this glue? I don't... It's definitely unsavory, is what it is. So, uh, we are getting our steps in today. We're taking the stairs. Norman. Junebug. Leonard. Liliana. George. I don't remember them. No, I don't either. They, they must have been added. Not in the demo. Yeah. That's a no. That's a no. So off limits or not, I'm going this way. Or not. Hmm. Interesting. Something could be placed here. On each of them? The only thing I have is that medallion. Hmm. That's actually a very realistic way to make him move downstairs. Not many games take the time to do that. Nope. Given this Usually is a... they just have you kind of glide around like you're floating. Yeah. So... All right. You put the medallion in the mouths of the figurines. I had not considered that, but let's give it a shot. That's the one thing I would think. Otherwise, we're going back outside and, well... Okay, so our inventory is still the same. Examine. Half of a medallion. Wunderbar. Uh, something could be placed here. Okay. Um, how do I... Hmm. Doesn't give me an option to use it from inventory. Hmm. Let's have a look outside again. Okay. The antenna is on top of the hotel, but it might necessitate going through some of the other buildings before we can make progress in here. And he All gave right. us a key card, which could go to one of the other buildings. Mm -hmm. No harm doing a little exploration before we get into the thick of things. Lunch is my favorite hey, who's that? Oh, we might you know, be required to have that backtracking. Yeah, it's foolish, but we're gonna follow him in. Anything around here I can grab? I don't think we should. I mean, in a, you know, a meta-textual kind of way. Yeah, but we're horror protagonists, so that's out the window already. Ah, that's what the card goes to. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, I, I already see where this is going. This is basically where you started the demo from. Yeah, you're probably spot on. What's this? A, B, C, right. City Tribune, Saturday, November 9th, 1968. Television's Friendly New Neighbor. Review of My Friendly Neighborhood by Richard Lightsbury. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at preschool-aged children, My Friendly Neighborhood. The show centers on the titular Friendly Neighborhood and its resident puppets, who, with the help of adults like Stevie, Richie Bromine, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show is catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find the messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each felt felt furball becomes a beloved friend whose words are hung on to with a trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends, an independent public access television, the series and creator Al Gerswald were recently signed by the City Network Broadcasting Group and production moved to the historic City Network Hotel Studio on the west side. Their move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by... something. That's basically... Um, very similar to the way that uh, Sam and Friends, Jim Henson's original 
project basically became Sesame Street. Yep. Uh, okay. It's a little different than the demo. Use right mouse button to... Hi. I'm sure that's fine. The no, Mystic man, Maze. The, hug. the Shadow Sapphire. Health Alax. Oof. You know, you know, they always do that 9 out of 10 doctor saying agree, but it's like, what does the 10th guy have to say? What's his deal? Ricky with friends, twice daily. Puppet Pirate's Cove. Is that a reference to the creepypasta? Interesting, if so. Creepypasta? There was a uh, fairly famous creepypasta story about, uh, I believe it's Pirate's Cove, and... No, it's Candle Cove. I'm sorry, it's Candle Cove is the name of the, the big one. And uh, the whole thing was like... The... Hey, you're going through. I'm Norman. I'm a Hello? normal guy. Is anyone there? Just kind of don't show up to be a friendly face in the background. Uh, sometimes I get some lines to recite too. I'm just gonna let you do your thing, man. Don't even Whoa. mind me. But the the whole. What? Wait, 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 wait. Let me do Maybe I could find the key. Great. What's this show all about? Yay! I just uh. I love that one. <laughs> the longer you keep your mouth, the more tough I'll be. Okay. Um. That was more upsetting than I thought it would be, to be honest. What the heck is going on here? You give me a test, and I'll give that is a, a fair crack. question. I like to start with pipe cleaners to give myself something to make shapes out of. I'll make triangles and squares and circles and patch them all together. Jump then, down? I don't know if I want to. Take your closest friend and I don't know if we have a choice. We're kind of hemmed in. <laughs> yeah. Safety of. dummy? I like to use Norman because he has all sorts of oranges and Oh, that's like our weapon. That's a tape dispenser, unfortunately. I kinda thought so at first too. Uh, I made a ball of Leonard uh, What do you think Leonard loves? Oh sure, being a lover is great! <laughs> oh dear, we're getting into it now. It's me. Oh, what is that? Shiny. Shining, 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 shining justice burning me. That doesn't really work. No, it definitely does not. Yeah, we did not see her in the demo. I'm gonna go in this door, is that cool with you? That looks like our gun. Can... Okay, I'll come back. You do you. Okay. That was green triangle. Yeah, the whole the, the Candle Cove thing, the whole thing is like kids really wanted to watch it and they had like this this really deep nuanced thing where like the the, the monster was this thing called the skin taker. And there was this whole thing where this little girl goes on adventures and becomes a pirate and like the the kid is like talking about how to wax cool, and um, the then the whole twist at the end is when the kids were watching the show, they were just sitting in front of TV static and not actually watching anything. And the parents were like, "I we thought it was weird, but like kids do weird things, and you'd have these weird stories to tell us after the fact, and you're just oh. kind of left wondering like what actually was happening." Oh, is it? Yeah, that sounds a lot like the color out of space, where it literally is a creature that uh, consumes the color from things huh. and basically takes a portion of their essence in so doing. It's never really explained. It's literally left at that because you're kind of just left to interpret it up on your own. Um, which I think is part of what makes it really an, an interesting creepypasta. It's very short. It's to the point. It doesn't overstay its welcome or try to over explain things. Yeah, it's kind of uh, how I feel about the Godzilla creepypasta. Yeah. Except at the very end, which honestly I think was kind of a disservice. And was partly why I think it's kind of a shame that the, uh, the sequel, which I hoped would ameliorate that, just kind of collapsed. 
Yeah, it kind of petered out, and last I've heard, like, for a time it was abandoned, and then he said he was going to start working on it again, just very slowly, so only time will tell on that. Main uh, exterior, main street, the neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's Antique Display to try on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings, and cuts into the line, pushing Liliana out of the way and causing a commotion. Stevie, standing up from a bench, Pearl, that wasn't nice. Pearl sheepishly glances around at the others, who are all glowering at her and hunches in shame. Stevie, you can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think of other people first, do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe this will make it clear. Song, put another before yourself. Put another before yourself before you go. See if someone needs help. So, that sounds wholesome-ish. Sure I think the... Us getting assaulted by, you know, horrifying puppet monsters. Yep. I, oh, just... I remember the tape. I just... How... Hmm? Oh. oh, I was about to say, I remember the duct tape. That's how we uh, incapacitate the belts. Yeah, and I was just saying, you know, I just willingly stuck my hand into a toilet for that. Eh, it won't be the first time. Won't be the last. You play video games, eventually your hand's going in a toilet. Hey, at least you know it's not like Duke Nukem where you can, today. you know, drink from a toilet. Most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. What sorts of things do I eat? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> okay, man, you do you. You know what? I'm not going to get in your way. You just get that out of your system. This really is Sesame Shock. I think that that is a very apt name. I think I am going to steal that. Tubular Throwdown Live. I'm not really sure oh, oh, uh, what I'm looking at. Lenses? Yeah, they're, they're camera lenses. It's like a shooting range? It's locked. I think that wrench has other ideas. Gimme. Trusty wrench, find the pipe wrench. Open sesame! Really? I can't take the brute force? Whatever, I have something to work with now. It's the amazing indestructible glass bottle. Now you're gonna force me to go back. Oh, come on, let me take the guitar. Let me hit things with the guitar! Legendary weapon, Grekotch. So let me go full on deadly premonition here. That'd be so cool. July uh, 1983. Yeah, it's been a while since people were actively working down here. And I have this really unfortunate <laughs> feeling that now that I have a weapon, these guys aren't going to ignore me so readily. <laughs> hmm. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. <laughs> that right. Yeah, no. All right. I only have one thing of duct tape, so I'm only engaging in combat with these pilgrims if I absolutely must. That's very hurtful. <laughs> and yet not inaccurate. I mean... Uh, that looks like ammo, but not the actual gun. So I'm not willing to fight for that right now. I'm watching you. Is that another door? I can't... It's either a door or a locker. Oh, I didn't even see this. Locked from the other side. Okay, I need you to do a pull-up here, Gordon. I... I can't... I cannot do a pull-up. That is unfortunate. Can't get anywhere near these things. Oh, jeez. What? Oh, what do I do? Like, what did I do that? Like, wow! I take four hits and I am dead. 
Okay. That went badly. Survival horror is the name of the genre then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know what? I did not inspect this door last time I was here. Eh, worth a shot. Okay, definitely do need the wrench. Definitely cannot use it in meaningful combat. Is anyone there? All right, so now we know melee combat is not an option. What is going on here? Might have missed some items from those lockers in the re room I respawned in. This will be what you make your crafts out of. I like to use Norman because he has all sorts of oranges and reds I can use. Now I start patching my files. Okay, on. I don't know what I did to get her attention, but I'm gonna try to not do it again. I can just re grab all these real quick. Boom, boom. Yep, doing this again. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. <laughs> all right, so wrench. Can you hop over the? Uh... I cannot seem to duck or crouch or jump. Anything like that, actually. This might have been the perspective we were seeing earlier. I remember the TV with the beer bottle next to it. Ah, I can try to reload the wrench. He just shakes it in his hand. Diamond. This is definitely a shooting gallery to let you test. So this is the blue circle. I have not seen a blue circle door. Yeah, we, it was earlier. It was uh, right by where the first felt was. He was smacking against it. Oh, what's that it? Yeah. Yeah, no comment on that one. Like, I know some point during that exchange, I did successfully hit her. Now, problem being... I can stealth kill them? I guess so. I did that purely out of blind instinct, but... Oh, I smashed her head into the shelf. Well, that should stop her from becoming a nuisance now. Glad to have it, but I still need the gun to make anything of it. Unfortunately, not a door. So, if I get the drop on them, I can maybe incapacitate them. That said, I don't know how much of that I'm supposed to take for granted. In the demo, I didn't receive a melee weapon at all. And, uh, yeah, not going back the way we came. So, I have to assume that stealth kill is an option. Yeah. Even if it only gets me temporary results, because that's the only tape I've found so far. I have a, sus I have a suspicion we're going to have to go take out Leonard. Yep. No more toilet tape, is there? It was a thought. It's the infinite toilet tape. <laughs> Senpai of the toilet, what is your wisdom? Lunch is my favorite meal of the you day. You shouldn't expect really infinite really items just because it's a lunch. video game. Yeah, nothing else I can do but hope for the best on that one. 
Well, it shows you how much tape you have, too. You start your day getting ready for bed. Okay. Alright, here are the save stations. I do remember that. Okay, so this works basically the same way as the map in the demo did. So that's cool. Boom, boom. Thank you. This is my storage space. Which has more ammo. And more save tokens. Right now, I can pretty much hoard like a dragon because I don't have that much on hand. Nope. I'm not even really gonna worry about saving. At least not right this second. The scribe. The puppet's road trip, 1978. Isn't that when the Muppet movie happened? I remember those. I forget. It would be around that time, at least. There's a circle door. Yeah, the puppet's big heist. A winter song. <laughs> it unlocked, so that's good. It's a door to before. I was right, though. I did leave behind a save token. Okay, so instead of the smart thing, we're going to do the horror protagonist thing and go back into the belly of the beast. When you go to the park, bring some food for all wild animals. Ugh, my kingdom for a gun. Alright, I'm going to keep hoping that I can keep getting the drop on them. Tell your friends to jump in the take any of these. Doesn't look like it. I'm not going to pretend to assume that they're going to stay down. I'm getting lots of ammo. That's a good start. Okay, where's this? Oh, this is right at the beginning. Yep. Yeah, and she's still stuffed into the shelf. Okay. I'm struggling a little. Every time I seem to make progress, the progress seems to be back to where I've already been. You can have that basement, dude. I'm not fighting you for it. Sometimes we would swap our arms. Then we would swap our legs. Okay. Atrium dressing room. Prop department. Courtyard. Doesn't even feel like this is the right area. I can take it with me? Okay. Alright. Oh, it actually shows you where we've been. Okay. So that's the blue circle. We need to find a way to unlock that container in the basement in order to open that. Let's say it comes out on the other side of that one room that we dropped down from. These are still locked. So we're in relatively the right area. I guess, having made this as progress, I will save once. That way I can be a little bit more reckless. That said... Stage 4... Okay. I do have some healing if I need it, so there's also that. If you can it's really just about getting them before they get you, frankly. And this put us here. So, the only other door we have not assessed is the one that Norman was pounding his head into. The best part of your day, I always start by getting ready for bed. 
I'd have to do. I get my Oh, Ooh, he has a lot of health. I have to be careful of him going forward. Guy really loved himself, looks like. Yeah. Educating the world. S the puppet storm Chicago. Mystic Maze. Labyrinth. Yeah, almost certainly. Okay. Cutscene time. Oh, -ho, what have we here? There you are! Oh, hi. Now don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. 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 Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I was looking for it all over the place. Yeah, I'm not giving that to you. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. Don't get on her bad side is all I know. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh boy. Find the sonographer. We can teach them. We can <laughs> I wonder what happens when I scream. Well then. Learn your alphabet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, you made a cheesy one-liner out of that, and I love that. Hank's Inventor Diary, 4-16-69. I finally got it working. It's a real beaut. I think I'll call it the stenographer because it shoots letters out of an index. Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but it'll really give someone a clonk if they get hit in the head. Should be useful for security, special effects, fun, etc. Yeah, I think that's everything. Richie Bromine. We've heard that name before. I believe he was the show creator. Mm -hmm. You guys just stay here, okay? Don't mind me. Oh, that must have been the one that was out here, then. Environmental continuity. Locked. Does that mean we have to go back to the lobby? Locked. Maybe I could find the key. What's this shape all about? Maybe. I have an idea. There was a target down where the locked key was. I'm a craft monster! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Having this, we can shoot that target, and that might be the mechanism that opens the box that has the circled key in it. That seems crazy enough to be a solution. This is a horror game. You gotta think it through. Like, you're a very cartoony jigsaw with too much time on your hands. You're coughing too much pain. You know, like actual jigsaw. Alright, let's give this a shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Brute force would have been my solution to the problem, but hey, you know what? We don't always get what we want. Real problem is I now get to fight my way out. What do you do when you get upset? Do you let it get you down? Let me tell you about the time that my friend Junebug got me all upset at her. First, I uh... get this. First, I beat her. <laughs> he actually does say something very similar, as I recall. Wait, did I need to go this way? Hang on. No, I don't think I did. But it does work. I can just cut around that way. That should be fine. I'm still learning my way around. 
I had the demo down pat, but this is definitely a whole different felt monster. Oh, oh, there we go. This works. Yeah. Now we're making progress. Okay. I have a melee weapon. I know. This must be one of the old sets. Oh, it's nice of them to advertise that for me. This is a lot of enemies to deal with and not a whole lot of duct tape to permanently put them down. All right. <laughs> All right, simple solution is out. That's quite a bird. Okay, Ricky was not lying. All right, threat neutralization is go. I think they stay down at least until we leave. Okay, so that way is definitely out. Anything that gets me away from the giant bird is probably a step in the right direction. I gotta say, this has great atmosphere. It's one part cartoony, one part demented, and one part something is about to attack me and I have limited resources with which to deal with that. To use. Nice. <laughs> More ammo is always good. <laughs> well, well, well. It's time for uh, what does Norman notice? Well, let's see here. Uh, what oh, does dead end. Norman notice? Uh, ah, Norman notices Leonard. Safe room. I was hoping I could peek out the window to get an assessment of the threat. Alright, one duct tape. They're definitely... Definitely assuming that uh, I'm not going to be able to just incapacitate every threat I encounter. <sighs> okay, I at least have a working relationship with my environment. Hill station... yeah. We've made some good progress. I don't want to lose it now. I hear a Norman talking in here, but I don't see him. Well, well, well. It's time for uh, what probably through notice? there, I guess. Well, let's see here. Uh, okay, so much for taking shelter from the big bird. Lower, lower case, big. Ricky, it's pizza time. Pizza time team plays, and the hand on the pizza time clock turns. Stevie enters. What are you doing, Ricky? Oh, you were just about to go see what's in the pizza box. What's today's topping, Goblet? Goblet points to the clock. Goblet rumbling chovy. Anchovies. Boy, I love anchovies. Let's go. No. Um, anchovies are overpoweringly salty. Like, I wouldn't say they're the worst conceivable pizza topping, but I'm not going to say that I love them. You'll notice pineapple is not on there. Well, pineapple <laughs> is just assumed, because, you know, it's delicious. Ugh. I think I can just hear them through the walls. I guess this really is just a soundstage. Okay, buddy, what's our working relationship? Uh, you 
You guys take a lot more shots than I remember. Ah, shotgun shells. I gotta say, they make every encounter feel meaningful. Mm -hmm. I don't like how that has an exclamation on it. It's, there's no handle on this side. All clear? I don't think it loads the enemies who are right outside, so I think there was an enemy standing down there before. Okay, here goes. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't want to stay out here for too long. Ugh, it's death on one side, death on the other. Shut up. No hugs! <laughs> no hugs. <laughs> That tears it. Stay back! Ugh, Leonard's a damage soak. Guy just takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Seriously, you can't step over that? It's a laundromat. This is that spot I was seeing earlier. The latch won't release. Like, seriously, dude, step over it. You're a grown man. an alphabet with pearl. Buy six pies, get one free. Oh, upside is... Whoa! Uh, can I close that door again? I think opening it was a mistake. And that thing just gets to go wherever, huh? Someone was okay with this. No, don't look over here. Oh boy, this complicates things. I... We can go around. Rare. It looks like her patrol path will take her back around that alleyway, but it's like... Literally a key right there, and I'm bound by something that comes up to, like, my hip. No, no, we can't do that. That would be rude. And never mind the fact that we have a monkey wrench, we should be able to, like, undo this, this the, uh, bolts. Or to smash it. Oh, it's a letter that came out when I shot him. I don't see a solution to this, at least not in here at any rate. I might have to go someplace else first, but it feels a little you know, self -defeating. I feel like yeah, the pizza clock has something to do with it. Which is weird, as I said it properly. It said anchovies, so I put it on anchovies, but... Okay... Oh, jeez. Okay, I kind of thought she was going that other way. No. You go back where you belong. You belong back over there. I need to go that direction, you stupid bird! And if I try to blitz to the side, I'm going to get attacked by her. This is a lose-lose. It's like an abomination. I hate it. <sighs> okay. Reminds me of a uh, dragon glass monster from One Punch Man. Dokkan Bird. Literally, it's this idiot puppet monster uh, from a children's show. Kind of like My Friendly Neighborhood, except that the uh, bird suit actor got um, killed while he was wearing the suit. 
but because Dokkan Bird, the character, would never actually die permanently, he just kept uh, coming back. That's terrifying. Yeah, he was really, really annoying to deal with. Okay, if you'll just go around the corner, I could make a break for it. And no, not this way! If I kept going that way, I could have just gone around. Oh gosh, it checks the windows. That means we were super lucky on our way in here. Who knows what thing would do if it saw us on that side. I was kind of thinking the windows were opaque as far as the AI was concerned, but now I'm not so sure. You think we can go back over to the far end of the, the alley? Whoa! Out in? Maybe. I, I kind of wanted to see what her rotation would actually be. Is she checking all the buildings? I don't remember her doing this before. Oh, she's reaching up there, maybe. Punk rock band? What are you talking about? These guys really are well and truly unhinged. Okay. What now, stupid? Yes! Yes, you go that way. I go this way. Thing specifically said that's anchovies. Yeah. What? Well, look at the pizzas, though. Oh, that's a good idea. We got pepperoni here. We got it's like ham. Time never stops. What? Okay. So these pizzas are pepperoni pizzas. So is that the idea? It's over here. Didn't even notice that. Notre Dame Cathedral? I guess they just needed something that looked... Say again? I didn't realize we were playing off. <laughs> okay, now that we're behind the scenes... And that would just take us back around to the laundromat. Kinda feel like there's no point in going that way. Not necessarily. I mean, oh. it's somewhere new. No, I mean, we unlocked the door from the inside. We can go to the laundromat whenever we want now. I'm gonna take a risk and go this way. And Z is for... Z is for, I'm going to hit you with a wrench! Hey! What's this? Letter block. Okay, that tells me nothing. Oh gosh! I'm list- I, I was just leaving, don't mind me! This is promising. Okay. Onion? Looks like it can open, but the lid won't lift. We're getting somewhere now! I need the clock to point out the onion to open that. So that said, what other things can we find? A mushroom! Ah ha 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 ha! There is a method to the madness. Real quick. I'm going to eat this. I think I can see back like one hit worth. So I probably have a little bit more of a buffer. That's actually a really nice way of setting this up. This looks really cool. So, uh. 
Bye. See you next fall. Uh, I think I should be shot for that one. Or punished. Megaphone. Paul. Square. Okay, that's where the square key is going to take us. Just presently down there. Hope that bird can't fly. Let's see where this takes us. Right, I have it on pepperoni right now. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring sunflowers. Random VHS tapes. That takes me back. Alright, I got a tape. What? I don't you clean off the roof. What are you doing over there? I guess he climbed back up. Ah, <laughs> we're getting somewhere. That's the pepperoni box. So this is kind of a stealth segment, given the giant bird wants to kill me. What about the pizza place? Okay. This is that locked door we couldn't get to before. Are you kidding me? Just uh, I hosed myself. I don't think I need to go that way right now. I need to get back to the pizza place. I can hear it walking around out there. That sounds really close. Now, worst case scenario, I can duck back in. Ah, okay. Exactly where you want to be. Okay, so we know we've seen the onion. So we'll go for the onion box next, I guess. That one wasn't too far from here. There is big trouble. Whoa, there's big trouble. I'm going to assume that I can make it from here. There was an enemy around here, but he must have moved. As long as they're not chilling out directly in my path, this should be fine. But I know someone's... Nope. Whoa! Get out of here! No one invited you to this party. I have enough trouble as it is. That was the, uh, what's your call, back there. Yeah, the mushroom box. Did we get anything? Uh, I have it set to, uh, onion. Uh. That was one of the ones we saw, I'm pretty sure. Smooth jazz. I wonder if I'll listen to it for 17 years. You like jazz? Vacuum. Is there a day night cycle, or is this part just really shaded? Oh, it's a TV. I just saw something orange over there, and I was like, ah, that's... That's the onion box. The safest way to handle the situation is probably just to go to the area that's over the pizza joint and drop down. 
leave as little exposure time as possible. Oh, or maybe I'll wait a minute. Get away from there. Onions. Now I can just. No, oh, come on, Gordon. Fine. You won't do it the violent way. I'll use the one-way door. I would just leave it open personally, but. Now get beaten by a wrench. Oh, come on. How much health do you guys have? Jeez. Alright, I need to be less stingy with my ammo is the takeaway here. At any rate, I'm gonna go for the anchovy box next, since that was the one that they drew attention to. Did that work? It may just be easier to go around. Where is it? wonder if I can run past them. Well, now I can't. Jar Jar Binks looking feathery nuisance. Come on. Wow, that legit looked like she was coming straight at me. Okay, backing up and swinging wildly is a viable option. Okay. Really wish I had more tape. What is this? Glasses? Glasses? Salmon. Some plastic eyeballs on the back. Okay, I... For the statues. Oh, you're probably right. This is supposed to be uh, one of the puppet's glasses. So, that's interesting. That might open one of the doors in the hotel. There were three locked doors in the upstairs area. I mean, I didn't really know what I was going to expect when I opened that box, but I guess that wasn't it. He's back down there. I get the sense the other boxes are going to be for random items. That's what they've been so far. Yeah. Let me check the map. Or 
just gonna kind of leg it. Okay! Let's go over to the hotel and test our theory. I think we're on to something. Just, holy crap. Everything is a little bit more terrifying than felt ought to be. I mean, I suppose it's not scary in an existential sense, but it's more like things are definitely wrong, and I don't have a way out. Well, rather, I have a way out, but my character's not going to take it. Again, horror protagonist syndrome. I mean, Ricky also said something about going back to the lobby, so... That's true. He said something about having snacks here. Oh, look, he wasn't lying. Hospitality, find Ricky snackaroos. Well, that was very nice of you, Ricky. In fact, I should probably pop a few. First off, for inventory management's sake. And second, because I don't feel like dying. That was sort of less than a full hit. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I think the candy bar gives him a sugar rush. It's like he's moving a little bit faster. Is it this one, I think, that has glasses? Something can be placed here. felt like it was supposed to be this one. Yeah, I feel like it's that one. Hmm. Maybe that's just something I have to do later. Holy crap, moving up and down the stairs is crazy. Size up my situation here. Ten on roof, stage four is where we've been working. Is that the office or the aviary? I have not. Let's give it a shot. Locked. Okay. Well, we're halfway there. Chicken on a bear. Okay. Much as I don't want to go back into Big Bird's playroom, I'm getting the sense that may just not be an option. May just not be a good way of getting out of it. Wait, there's another. There's another circle door. In relation to me, that's. Hang on. So there's one. I was like, he's coming down from a sugar high. I forgot you were there! Mind me, just going this way. I still feel like the glasses have to be important somehow. Mm -hmm. This looks like an um, dress room. Okay, I have to try it. I thought something terrible would happen the instant I did that. It looks like plastic food, given the sheen that it all has. Coffee might be legit, though. I don't know, Dutaku, would you try coffee from the... It has to be the 70s or 80s? Nope. Extra noses. 
googly eyes. Different costumes. 1983. So yeah, 83. <laughs> that coffee has probably been in here since before the years in which we were born. Wet. Paris? Porous? Wet pearls? Maybe. Feather hang? Wet pearls as in the big, like, avian feathery nuisance? Possibly. Makes sense. So I where does... Corrupt, monster. <laughs> you give me a test. Uh, it just oh, takes me back here. What's this? Secret. A cheat tape. Oh, these were still in the game. Really? The only cheat I really want is infinite ammo. <laughs> I'll take them up on it if that's somehow an option. Okay, so this was not a progress of the... So that's what I'm not complete in here of all rooms? Really? Can't crouch, but there's some, some more sidewalk chalk graffiti. Thought maybe if I destroyed that, something would happen. Mm hmm. Taped shut. Bro, you have a wrench. Just smack it one good time not your property. Like, who cares at this point, right? Can I shoot it off? I doubt it, but I'm going to try it. No. Worth a shot, so to speak. So, the not complete is probably just that dresser, then. Possible that could become important later, Lunch but... Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. Let's see. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. Yep. What sorts of I think we're going back eat? into well, avian I'm hell. <laughs> when I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. When I'm sad, I eat leftovers. When I'm hey, hey, there is nothing wrong with leftovers. Alright. So, temporarily... Citing a lack of anything to do with, um... Well, first let's do some organization here. Blue Circle Key might have served its purpose, but I don't really want to assume that. I'm pretty sure we're in Stage 4. I don't think we need this anymore. Does the tape stack? Uh, the coins do, but only to a certain extent. Good to know. No, they do not stack. So, no, leave that there. No, don't use. Aha! There we go. Can't use these yet, so let's stash them. There! We actually have some inventory space again. I think that's where we're going to pull today's episode to a close. That's the heal, this is the save. This has come a long ways since the demo, and I'm impressed. There's a lot of stuff happening here, and th this is, has a like, fantastic environment, and they're definitely, definitely playing up the survival horror angle. Uh, it's definitely more of a feeling of unease. There's less tape, there's... a seems to be about the same amount of ammo, but way less tape, and I think that in itself is more dangerous. So what, what are you thinking, Dutaku? Are we going to make this a regular thing until we, we beat it? Or are we going to let people I, in the comments decide? I think we should. Yeah, no, th this is really good. Um, link, as always, is going to be in the description, so you guys can get this game for yourselves. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, next episode will probably pick up when we're next making progress again, because I feel like I'm going a little bit in circles, so to spare you guys a little bit of my idiocy, uh, we'll catch you guys once the next major milestone is reached. And this has been Snack and Itaku, and we'll see you guys next time.